Today we're honored to be at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base in, in base headquarters. And here we're talking with the Wing Commander, Colonel Sage. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for being with us this morning. Absolutely. How are it's, you doing? It's an honor to be here. Honor's honor, sir. I appreciate you talking with us, and I hope this is the first of many meetings. Uh, first of all, uh, tell us about Colonel Forrest Sage. Where's home? Where are you from? I'm originally from Newport News, Virginia, uh, which is about three hours from here. Although I do have uh, ties to North Carolina, I got relatives in Greensboro and also relatives in Kinston. Really? Okay. Well, that's great. So what inspired you to join the Air Force instead of the Navy? Well, I come from a military family and um, all the way, serving all the way back to the Civil War. My grandfather was in the Air Force. He moved around the country and then ended up settling at Langley Air Force Base mm -hmm. in uh, Hampton, Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's where I grew up. And so I, you're right, I had exposure to the Army, to the Navy, and the, and the Air Force uh, in the Hampton Roads area. Uh, but the, uh, with the family history and with the, with the base, uh, that was uh, kind of what piqued my interest and in the direction I ended up choosing. And in that direction, what did you see that the Air Force had to offer you? Well, for me, it was about, uh, like many of our young airmen, it was about opportunities. Opportunities to serve our nation, opportunities to fly, and opportunities to see the world. And uh, coming from somewhat humble means, that uh, all of three of those interested me and, uh, and really opened the door to a, to a future that I had not experienced, and it's been fantastic. You, you, you were interested in flying right off the bat. You wanted to get into a plane. Well, my grandfather flew B-25s during World War II. Wow. And um, I was uh, raised, uh, like I say, around the base in that environment, uh, mm -hmm. so that interested me. I, I had my first flight when I was 16 years old, oh, and, wow. uh, and I think um, I had the bug after that. <laughs> and in the, the Air Force, uh, the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs gave me some great opportunities to, to fly, uh, to jump out of airplanes, and, um, and once again to travel and see the world. So very thankful. So which did you enjoy more, flying or jumping? You know, it's uh, <laughs> uh, the different phases of life. When, right. when I was younger, I, I really enjoyed jumping out of airplanes. Right. Um, once, I, once I went to pilot training and became an F-15 pilot, uh, that kind of took uh, front seat. And, uh, and I've enjoyed that ever since. Very fortunate to still get to fly the mighty Strike Eagle. Oh, yes, what a wonderful plane that is. Absolutely. So besides the Strike Eagle, what other planes are you, uh, have you flown? Primarily the F-15, although I did spend some time with the Navy, about four years as an exchange instructor. So I flew the T-34 uh, Turbo Mentor, which is a small trainer prop plane. Right. I did that for four years and then just some civilian flying beyond that. Do you still have uh, family members in the military? Uh, I am actually the only one uh, left in the military at this time, um, but uh, you know my children, I think, have some interests, so we'll see if, if we carry on that legacy in the Sage family. Well, hope so. The, uh, uh, so how long have you been here at Seymour? Uh, I've been at Seymour here now for about five months. Uh, the change of command was on June 30th. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to that, I was stationed here from 2004 to 2007. Uh, two of my children were born here. And then uh, prior to that, I did my initial F-15 training back in 1996. Okay. I, I know that a lot of the uh, base commanders, the wing commanders, who, uh, who end up at Seymour Johnson have been here in the past at some time. So how, does, uh, how, do, you, uh, how do you like uh, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base? Uh, what oh, do you find appealing about it? It's a fantastic base, and it's, uh, it's come a long way. Um, it, it's always been one of our you know, premier uh, fighter bases that deploy airmen and aircraft around the world uh, to do our nation's business. Uh, but since I came back, since I left and came back um, with about a 10-year hiatus, it's impressive to see the work that's happened at this base uh, with some of our new infrastructure, some of our new buildings, um, with the technology and the upgrades we've done to the aircraft. Mm -hmm. And uh, as equally impressive is, is how much growth and uh, opportunity I see outside the gates in Wayne County and Goldsboro proper. Um, you know, the number of people that are moving in here, the, bin the businesses, the industries, the, uh, the restaurants. I mean, there's, that's the wonderful thing about living in this area. There's, there's so much to do and, uh, and so much to see, and it's a very, it's a very nice place to raise, raise children. We continue to hear how the community has uh, taken Seymour Johnson under its wing, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, uh, the community seems to really get along well, as unfortunately is, the, is not the case in a lot of military communities. That's right. We're very thankful to have a very uh, military-friendly community, and, uh, and that's at all levels. We see that with our civic leaders. We see that with the Military Affairs Committee, uh, and then we see that just living in the community. A, a large percentage, almost 80% of our airmen actually live in town, 
versus live on base. So we are the neighbors, the friends, uh, the, you know, our children go to school uh, with, with the local uh, community, and, and we become part of the local community. And uh, it's a str very strong relationship. We're very thankful uh, for that. The support that they give us day in and day out um, is impressive. So tell me, what is the mission of Seymour Johnson Air Force Base? Well, the mission is simple. It's to deploy Strike Eagle air power any, anywhere, anytime. And, um, and that not only includes the aircraft, that includes the airmen that support that. We just returned from a deployment. We had uh, 18 jets and about 500 airmen deploy from the Middle East where they were fighting our, our enemies, uh, ISIL, uh, downrange, as we say. And, uh, and that's pretty much what we do. We, we will now um, continue our training and then prepare to deploy additional airmen uh, next year. But that's what the nation's asked us to do. We train and equip airmen from this base that deploy to the fight. In addition to the F-15s and everyone that supports that mission, we also have firefighters, defenders, our, our police, as well as our um, EOD, our explosive ordnance disposal units that deploy around the world as well. We have a lot of talent on this base, a lot of talent. Uh, we sure do. Yeah. We uh, a lot of talented airmen that um, are specialized in their mm -hmm. training. Um, you know, it, it's great to see occasionally we're able to support the local community when we will roll our fire trucks, we'll roll our, our um, explosive ordnance disposal mm -hmm. units downtown to help uh, with a challenge that the local community has. Uh, very talented, um, technical uh, group of airmen. Yes. And with that actually comes a very talented uh, spouse pool. The wives, the husbands of the airmen that work on this base, um, very highly educated. And one of the initiatives we're working on is how to partner with the local community mm -hmm. to bring them into the local workforce. I take it that you would encourage a young person to consider joining the Air Force. I absolutely would. Uh, just like myself, uh, you know, growing up, I had never traveled north of New York, south of South Carolina, or west of Tennessee. Right. <laughs> um, and now I've traveled the world. Wow. So, like I say, it's, it's about joining and serving something bigger than yourself and the fulfillment that comes with that. Uh, in addition to that, it's about seeing the world. It's about the opportunities that come with education, uh, with becoming a professional uh, warrior, and... Um, and then getting to see different parts of the country, like right here in Goldsboro. What makes a good candidate for the Air Force? You know, our, our, our Air Force is looking for young, highly motivated um, high school and, uh, and college graduates that, um, that have a, a mindset of entrepreneurship, of innovation, and, and of service. And um, unfortunately, the pool of resources that we can draw from in, in our society is, 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 is slightly decreased. Um, you know, we're looking for, for motivated um, high schoolers and, and college graduates that, uh, you know, that have, have worked hard, that are motivated, that have kept, a, kept themselves healthy, and, uh, and obviously uh, a clean record is, is helpful as well. And, and we basically bring those airmen in and then we train them and put them on a path to success. Personally, what do uh, you do when you're not running an Air Force base? Well, I, with, um, I'm very fortunate to have a wonderful family with five children. So oh with five children comes, uh, <laughs> comes a, lot of, uh, a lot of school events, lots of sporting events. And, but uh, as a family, we love to ski, we love the mountains, and we love the beach. How old are your youngsters, if you don't mind? No, I, I have uh, five children from the ages of 2 to 11, and, um, and so they're a lot of fun. They're, they've gotten involved in the local uh, football leagues, the local soccer leagues. My, my daughter dances with one of the local dance troops, and in our free time, we love to travel. Very good. Well, any final words? Uh, I know you're a busy, busy gentleman, so we will uh, get out of your way here, but any final words for the, for the audience? Well, I just want to say thanks for coming today, and um, it's just such a great relationship. The longer we're here, it's, it's, um, the more uh, we meet the wonderful people of Wayne County and Goldsboro, and, um, and, and they, they've opened their door to us, and that's, uh, we're very thankful uh, to become part of the community, to get to know them, and uh, we're always looking for ways that we can also contribute uh, back to the community and basically help uh, rise, you know, the, uh, the quality of life for everyone. Excellent. Colonel Sage, thank you so much for speaking with us today, yes, sir. sir. Thank, thank you for coming. Colonel Forrest Sage of Seymour Johnson Air Force Base.